I say just coming in every day, working, like no matter circumstance, I'm going every day, like no matter who I'm going against, what I'm doing, I'm giving it my all, all my effort, just buying into the course every day. Given where you are starting in the unofficial track of the city here, uh -huh. do you feel like this is your job or do you feel like you have to win your job? Uh, I feel like it's my job and I feel like I got to win it every day because this is the NFL. So every day you come and compete and there's new rookies and just new players coming in from everywhere coming to take your job. So the same time I feel like it's mine and I got to work every day to keep it and earn it every day. How important is it in the process for you as you work? You got a guy like Taylor on one side and a guy like Ben on the other side. Uh, it's a, it's it's good, like to have them vets, to have that knowledge that work, and they've had great careers, successful careers, and they still going. They year ten, year eleven. Like, I'm trying to get like them, so just having them next to me, learning from everything they're doing, mentally, physically, overall, it's, it's great. Taylor mentioned that he thought you and he could uh, do something together. Right? He said similar skills that I assume he's talking about like athleticism, right? Definitely. Have you guys talked about that? And have you? And I don't know. Pads will help. Show a lot of that moment. Have you seen some of that play out in, in you two playing together? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Because all right, then it's effort, speed off the ball, toughness, finishing. That defines both of us. That's what we built out for. Man. Basically, like, just how we come off the ball, we running off the ball. Appreciate it. We running off the ball. So just that itself, us two probably been some of the fastest offensive linemen you'll come across that help us. You ever had a two dollar steak? <laughs> uh, yeah. You <laughs> remind me of me. <laughs> Did you hear what Brable said about that? Yeah, yeah. Said, I'm tougher than a two dollar steak. Yeah. Hey, that's a great description of myself. What do you hope to accomplish here in camp? In camp, uh, just a stack every day and just get better every day. Just fundamentally, technique wise, conditioning. Just every single day, try to work on something to improve, and just to be the best player I can be. You buddies with Jayon. Jay, uh, yeah. yeah. Has he seen you in the 55, or what do he say about it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I ain't talked to him about yeah. it, but I remember rookie year. I had asked him, could I get his number? Yeah. But he wasn't coming up off us back then, so I got it now. I have. I haven't got no input from him so far. How important is it going to be one day when the Pats come on to really show what you're capable of doing as an offensive lineman? Oh, uh, it's going to be great. This time, that's when that real contact come in. So it just continue doing what we're doing. Just because them shoulder pads come on, it shouldn't be no difference. Like, since the shoulder pads been no, I still, I'm still coming off the ball the same, working everything I've been doing. When the pads come on, it's time to amp it up a little bit more. I talked to a couple of defensive guys, just sort of saying they're licking their chops because yeah, they're they football. You are too as an offensive lineman. Absolutely, though, right? yeah. They can lick their chops all they want to. So I'm going to do my thing no matter what. You put them pads on, I'm coming out the ball just like them. They can have all the talk and all the rah rah they want. But hey, when it comes, we lined up, we're coming out the ball. And most definitely, I feel like as a corner, I mean, as a DB, you have to play inside and outside. So it's really good that I got like experience inside and playing outside. No matter what position they put me in, I'm just ready to play. Biggest difference? Sorry, uh, just, just biggest difference for you so far in adjusting to the to the NFL level? Anything in particular? Um, I wouldn't say like it's just a major difference because the SEC is like one level under it, but it's just like the mentality of like going physical, like actually being over with guys. Communication. That's more like that's. I say that's the biggest part, the communication part, mm -hmm. and that's like something I'm just learning again, experience. It's just learning the system of the league, basically. How did you like what you did during the offseason and OTAs, mini camp, and kind of what was your mindset coming into, into training camp? Um, my mindset was just to start off brand new, like no matter what, um, like don't, don't fall back no matter what, learn from my mistakes and everything. So I'm pr pretty catching up back off on OTAs and everything, and just getting the experience and learning the system and everything. I'm just trying to learn something new every day and just improve. And how much, I'm sorry you've been asked this earlier, but the, the competition, I guess, I guess with trailing, other receivers, how much that help you uh, on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, it helped me a lot because all these guys, they're great. They got different skill sets and everything. So I'm happy and I'm experiencing going against these different receivers because, you know, in the future going to need games and stuff, I'm not going to always go against a quick guy. I'm not always going against a big guy. So it's just great experience going against them every day at practice. And you, and you a couple of square offs you've had with Traylon have been pretty physical. I mean, is that that's kind of your game? You think that's kind of his game? Is that what you think you guys will continue to work with? Yeah, most definitely. I talk to Trey every day. We're just trying to help each other get better. So we're trying to be more physical. This game all about being physical and stuff. But there's sometimes when you don't have to be physical. But just in that realm, like we're just being physical, trying to make each other get better. And as far as a corner, 
you got to have a short memory, I guess. You get beat on the play, you try to come back, I guess kind of vice versa. Oh, yeah, that's that's part of the game right there, next play mentality, no matter what, no matter what position you play, every like every position, if you have a bad play, you got to go to the next play. And what do you think you have to do to kind of earn play, earn a spot, maybe earn playing time as a rookie? Um, I, I really don't know. I haven't really thought about it. It's just me. Like I'm just trying to like improve, slowly improve every day. And no matter what position, or if I start or not, I'm just trying to help the team out no matter what, just trying to get better. Along the short memory lines, it seemed like the defense bounced back pretty well today. How how good was the effort on that side of the ball? It was great. You know, some days we weren't great, but you know we have the players on our team like KB. They tell us as long as we show effort and everything, they don't care about that. So we have bad play. On to the next play. Today we have some good defensive plays and everything. So that's the energy that we like. No matter what, play to the next play. That's how we did. Four days in, how close has this been to what you expected? Did anything surprise you at all? And how you feel like it's been? Uh, I wouldn't say nothing surprised me. This is really all fun. I'm just like enjoying the experience here. Everything's just great. Just actually playing lead, playing with the guys you actually seen, watching everything. But it's just great, like the communication, everything. I learned, I noticed that that's like a big part in everything, and it is great because like we communicate. And I feel like as long as y'all on the same page, everything is going to be good. What did you do between the time mini camp ended and training camp started? I was just like focus on my drills and everything. You know the stuff that we did here. I just focus on that, playing like inside, playing outside, off press. It's just really every DB drills, everything is just being in shape. That's the more thing about being in shape and condition. You do anything different size-wise? Like, have you gotten bigger since you've been with, been here, or what, have you done anything to change your body over the last couple um, months? Oh yeah, um, I'm focused on trying to eat more and eat better, so I gained a couple pounds and everything, trying to get more weight on me. But that's not really a big thing. It's just all about mentally with me. Given where you're starting, out there on the field, do, do you look at this and like, this is my job, or do you feel like I've got to win this job? Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's both. I mean, obviously, I'm there. I'm in that spot, um, and you're like, yeah, this is the mindset. This is my job. I need to protect it. But at the same time, like I said before, we're gonna we're gonna put the best five out there, five that will make us win games, and uh, we're gonna make sure everyone earns it. And that's and I'm making sure they earn it. I'm, they're making sure I earn it. So it's uh, it's gonna be a constant. Uh, hey, I need to win this job all year long. So. What's the biggest challenge for you? trying to do that and, and uh, giving this team finally the right tackle awesome. consistent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, I'm from the FCS, so just uh, getting used to the speed and getting used to the confidence that I can build. Uh, we're getting used to the speed of the NFL, so uh, as long as I can do that and have the confidence for that, uh, I think that's going to be huge. Uh, I have full trust in my abilities uh, to then block if I have that confidence, so uh, uh, I have no doubt in my mind we'll get there. Progress so far? I'm coming in late, Dylan, but uh, happy with progress so far? You know, just a weekend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, happy with progress so far. We have a long way to go, lots to work on, lots to correct, but uh, so far uh, it, it's been a good first four days. How much difference, when you, when you hit those pads on, on Monday, how much of a difference does that make for everyone? How much will that, you know, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll just be the true test of physicality. I mean, defense will be able to bull rush one on ones. We'll get to see where we're actually at when uh, we they have all their moves in their arsenal and we have all our moves in our arsenal when we're doing a gap power and stuff. I mean, obviously, we're not trying to kill, or kill each other's shoulders when we don't have shoulder pads on. So we put those on, it'll be a true test of physicality to see where we're at as offense. So. How much you help you from a technique standpoint, from maybe a mindset standpoint, just to be able to lock in on one spot and just hone in and focus on that. That'd be swell. Yeah, I mean, obviously being honed in on one goal, uh, you're able to focus a lot more on that, I'm able to focus a lot more on that spot. But ultimately, last year moving around, I think that helped me understand this offense a lot more. Um, so I will take a lot of positives out of that. But yeah, it's been super helpful just to be locked in at one spot. I'm excited. You know, I've been here three years, left for a year. Um, back again. It's fun, it's cool, but I still got to get back in the system, learn things quickly, uh, and do what I can to see if I can help this team. What had you been doing maybe before you got the call to, to come back to um, be ready? Staying ready, you know, working out. I got a trainer in Houston and in Austin, one in Houston, Justin Allen, and one in uh, Austin, uh, Jeremy Hills, and uh, at the collective. So they've been getting me right, staying in condition and lifting weights, uh, coming back from my pec tear, just trying to stay able to stay healthy. And I guess your mission maybe to <clears throat> just to kind of stop find a role on this team and uh, create a role you yeah know, um, you can find a role you can create a role whatever way you want to perceive it but uh like I said do what I can so I can help this team you weren't gone long but have you seen some changes yeah. on the roster yeah. in the building yeah. or does it look uh, like a different place I mean if you look around at the building the fields lots change it feels like I mean whether I'm here or not things are going to keep moving so sure. you take that uh, I guess that concept into life and onto the field you just know you have to have, you have, to have some type of urgency in your life and how things been for you early in camp um Different, you know, uh, getting back in the group of things, uh, 
meetings, you know, it's, it's a grueling day. It's a grueling day, you know, you wake up at six, end the day exactly at eight o'clock, uh, just getting back in the funk of things and coming out here and learning from my mistakes and not to become a repeat uh, offender. When it comes to mistakes. What'd you hear when you came back in? Like some guys that were around? Yeah, it felt, like, it felt like a family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, a family reunion can, can turn into a family goodbye real quick. So, you know, <laughs> can't get too high, can't get too low.